Hey, I am back. Again, hey, I am back. Hey, again, hey. Oh, screw. Oh, screw. Okay. Hello guys, welcome back again to my channel. It's me, absolutely me. Thank you for checking out this video. And if it's your first time checking out this video, welcome. Thank you for watching. Alright, and please don't forget to click the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. You know what? Reverse again. Please don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. And don't forget to share this fabulous video if you really do enjoy it so today as you guys can tell by today's title i'm going i measured today like twice but as you can tell by the title down below um i'm going to be reacting to one of my recent favorite youtuber that i've been really obsessed with watching and um she's just really amazing guys she's really sweet i literally dm them i'm like i'm gonna react to your video and uh, i hope you're okay with it because i don't want to just like make any video i know you are free to do whatever you want uh, it's a free word but for the respect of her and that channel i decided to just dm her because i know I, I can share some light and she have her own opinion i have my own opinion she has her own ideas i have my own ideas so don't get it twisted that's the respect that i have for her okay her name is diana Equeme. i hope i pronounced the name right i hope and um she created a video recently about how nigerians living abroad are liars um which i really love all her points she literally gave pee -E, like points and she literally explained herself um and it's really do, it's really is understandable but today i'm going to, i'm going to just be reacting to whatever she says in the video by the way i've already watched this video like twice already because that's I just love our, our channel guys. I love our channel and Diana. Hello girl. Love you. Love your channel Let's just get right into this video So guys, um, I'm gonna react into this video and let's see how it ends. Okay, and by the way guys, I'm gonna leave the um Link to this video on the description box down below if you want to watch it and guys don't forget to share your ideas What do you guys think? Do you think that Nigerians living abroad are liars? Hmm? Do you think? And and um yeah, let's just get right to this video. Hack, hack, hack. <laughs> they don't know what is going on. <laughs> Guys, she's so pretty. Can I just can I just say she's just so pretty by the way? She just she's too pretty. I don't uh, can't do but and her skin is glowing her skin is literally glowing girl you need to tell me what you do to your skin girl let's let's just keep watching hello and welcome back again to my channel Ooh. it is your favorite baby girl Diana Ekweme <laughs> in the building <laughs> anyway if you're feeling this glow if you know I'm glistening if you think I'm going for mine you are just glistening girl in the comment section below and say Diana <laughs> represent which angle which member of the dynamite are LA committee just let me know in the comment section and let's oh, welcome our so new cute. members anyway Anyway, guys, today we have something sizzling. <laughs> you both <laughs> she said know, sizzling. You know the title that some of you, the <laughs> Goliath, <laughs> have already gone down in the comments and said, I think nonsense. You just, just calm down, just cool down. Yeah, you See, guys, calm down, guys, calm down. I don't know if I should keep cheating this video. So should I just stand up and just be dancing for you? But anyway, we have something serious to talk about. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're an old member of the Dynamite family, you know that we're at the end. And then we can get the discussion popping. Okay. Having said that, today we are going to be debunking some misconceptions. But before I start off, I need to ask if Can I just say, she's, she's literally throwing all this grammatic English. Like, wow. You could tell she started from the UK because English is popping, like she said. <laughs> Why is it that all of you are broad? Don't come and fight me. Let me ask my rhetorical question. I don't Go want on, to girl. generalize and say you people are broad. Ask your question. Nigerians living abroad. Why is it that you people, when we start asking you people questions on how to relocate, on how to move, people tell us to stay here. That we are blessed. Okay. She said, she asked the question, why is it that we that we are abroad, we always 
try and like discourage the, discourage people who are like back home from coming to this country let's just summarize it like that so the thing is that guys okay uk coming to the uk coming to england in general even traveling traveling abroad in general whether to america or to england itself it's not easy coming here and i know diana diana already been here she studied here but um diana i hope i'm pronouncing her name right but anyways um it's not easy coming here and once you are here you have to grow a tough skin like you don't people you need to if you're coming here you need to have a tough skin because challenges will be thrown at you your faith will definitely if you're a christian out there higher um your faith will definitely be tested like it's not an easy thing to come here and if you you guys are out there who have already applied um to come to the country before and whether you've gotten declined or whether you've been accepted you know how the application process is it is not easy it's not easy and why most people always say not me i would i would encourage anybody want to come to the uk to come because there is a it's a big place and everybody can come to do whatever they want to do um but what most people will discuss disagree from disagree with you who want to come here is that because um they believe that out there is like much much better back home it's much much better like you can have a small amount of money and you could be able to create your own mini business and be getting some pounds some money from it but right here you cannot just all of a sudden think of having a business you can have a business but it's like it take process because there are laws and legislation and rules that you have to abide with but while back home there's no law of rules you could just create your business once you have a store once you have your money you could create your business and um also the fact is that back home is lit let's not let's be honest <laughs> it's lit back home like christmas time new year time holiday seasons are fun back home why here everybody's in their own house especially if you're not that kind of individual that loves the club that loves to party that loves to go to people's houses and in this place you cannot just go to anybody's houses without even calling them like it doesn't work that way because if you come to my house <laughs> and you don't let me know that you're coming i'm not opening the door for you that's how it is so um talking about holiday it's lit out it's lit at um holidays back home that's what i meant holidays back home are much later like than here because here you're just in your own house and if you have a lovely family um you celebrate with your family but everywhere out there it's just so boring it's just too boring but let me just continue with this video yeah we have everything that we don't know what people are going through there that life is not easy that this that 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 we should stay here we don't know what we are missing that we don't know why don't you guys encourage us like why don't you guys say something other than what all of you are saying don't come stay there like okay um like i said i would definitely encourage anybody who wants to come to the uk or any other country rather um just come like come and have a taste they come and have a feel a part of the life in general guys you're going to be working in the cold when i say cold winter snow uh that's what, that's what i said at the beginning if you remember i said you have to develop a tough skin because you cannot just have a light skin to come and work by light skin like you cannot just be lazy to come and say you want to come to england to um to come and work or anything or to come and do whatever you need to do because here every single thing the lights the water you use the water that you even throw away the the dirty water they are all being paid for imagine how mad that is and if you have a tough skin if you're a really hard working person whether it's snow in winter you could really out, go out there and you could walk you could work and you out off and receive what you need to get to be able to pay your bills or to be able to have a lavish life that you want to have not even lavish like a comfortable life that you want to have so yeah i hope you guys are getting me i hope i'm not speaking in gibberish um but let's go on it's better in nigeria than abroad like a lot of nigerians living outside of nigeria don't dive deep into telling people this is how things are these are the realities of living outside of nigeria 
So don't come, stay there, day your day, make a day my day. Which is totally fine for a brief answer. And we're going to be dissecting why, how. The curious question a whole lot of we Nigerians living in Nigeria should be asking is that, why don't we believe them? Why is it that when they say these things, we are like, I think we are coming to the prop. I think why um, you guys believe that you don't believe us is that social media is broad now like everybody posts everything on social media and um even people who are living fake life post on social media so if people who are like back uh, who are here in this country are posting online that they are living lavish life but at the back like there's a song that says i don't know it's one of those afro beats at the back um that says that um but your landlord is is kicking you out of your house and you're showing you have cheap data on your phone and you're showing this lavish phone oh i think it's rude boy um and mark very well the money and i just said you audio money yeah like audio money by peace um by rude boy and like what people display on social media that oh uk is this it's like of course it's amazing you got like big opportunities and everything but People showcase that they are living lavish life, but at the back of their at the back of their room, they are literally like f finding it hard to pay their rent. So that's why I that's why I dislike social media. I don't want to use hey because you can use social media to explode yourself to be a successful business person. But at the end of the day. You don't just trust everything you see on social media. So that's why I believe that social media is, is, is evil, man. It's so evil. That's why it's, it's kind of hard for you guys to believe that that is, 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 is an easy life here in the UK. Like, we need to get our... In fact, we are heading to the embassy. <laughs> Canada, here I come. UK, here I come. You know, I must cross seven seas and seven deserts just to go see why is it that we nigerians living in nigeria don't believe those short sentences that just mask a whole lot of realities these are the things actually that we're going to and, an, and another one is that they believe that um they don't want um you to come if you get what i mean like for example if i said my family member that i don't want you to come here it's as, it's as if they kind of people back home will be like oh i i, I um i don't want you to be successful that's the, that's the kind of mentality they will have like we don't we don't want them to be successful which is kind of wrong because if you're here hmm, <laughs> waiting talking for and against if you're living in nigeria you talk for your own if you've been abroad and you're back in nigeria you speak for yourself in the that's comment section doing. and if you're living abroad it. and you're just holding your arms and looking at nigerians like <laughs> you really want to come here Tell us also the realities of things with you, the, the struggles, everything. First of all, I would love to say that the average Nigerian loves Osho Free. If this is the first time you're hearing the word Osho Free in caps, <laughs> it means that we like free things. Like the average Nigerian, most of the average Nigerian. Okay, um, Diana girl, you just mentioned a great thing that is fabulous okay you can't come to this country thinking you could get osho free or how does diana pronounce it like you can't don't think that of course the opportunity where you would you will get it which depends on your situation but you can't just come like i said you have to have a tough skin you have to be hard working you can't just come here and believe that you get everything for free it doesn't work that way it doesn't work that way you need to get your own money and it's I don't know why some people, in my own opinion, I believe that it is a great joy to know that you will work so hard for your money and at the end of the day, you pay your rent. After you finish paying your rent and everything else, you have some left to take care of yourself, either with your food stock, uh, whether with going shopping. It's such a great hard joy and you believe that God has blessed you in this certain way and, and you just have the money to take care of yourself. Not Osho Free, guys. Osho Free is not part of the UK, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> if, if, if you're waiting for Osho Free, <laughs> you're gonna be there for a thousand years to come. They just like, they're just entitled. Let's just say it. We like free things. We like, in this Nigeria, most of us just dig borehole. We don't know what is paying water bill. We don't know what is tax 
people. Some people don't know what is that. Some she people mentioned buy a tax. Guys, you know <laughs> that after you've um after you've you've worked and you've um and they're paying your salary, like you don't see your full salary because the government literally they deduct the tax. If you have NI. I don't know if you guys know what NI is. It's, it's um, it's called the National Insurance Number. If you have NI, they deduct your NI number, and they um, and if you're working in a certain job that require pension, they deduct your pension before they pay you. So imagine that. Huh. Hmm. There's one I saw on this top blog, the person cuckoo carry dog <laughs> get in front of the house because their fight is coming to court. Like, we don't like taxing. Once the government talks about taxing or subsidizing stuff or just we don't we want a better Nigeria but we don't want to pay for a better Nigeria. That's the sentence I was looking for. We don't want to pay for that better Nigeria. We just like free things, we like entitlements. Everybody is mourning, everybody is complaining, everybody is nagging, everybody is gnashing their teeth. And can I please say that um Although the the government here are deducting, deducting, asking for this, asking for that, we could see the results if you get what I mean. And if talking about the Osho free so that Diana just said, and and if you if back home like back home, if if you want to be collecting Osho free, and the government also kind of responsible for not making sure that the um. How do you say it that the so the that Nigeria in a whole is is a great country that it's supposed to be today? So like, can I? What I was trying to say is that even though they are dictating all this money from here, like we can see the evidence. Like it it shows, it shows like the country is is literally doing what they can to make sure that the country is it is what it is what it is right now, and the opportunities the houses the job everything if it's not for the tax the everything that we're paying the road is clean the road is good we wouldn't be able to have that if you get what i mean that's what I said you work hard they deduct this kind of amount of money and the remaining amount of money you have is what you're going to use to take care of yourself and when you use to take care of yourself you still have to pay rent which literally goes to them but uh, let's just finish watching it then we have, we have a chat okay left right and center but then when things are implemented we are crying we are not we are not taking it lightly we don't want the abroad life inside nigeria we three things that is what the average nigerian loves i'm not saying that we shouldn't blame our government we we don't have the best government in africa in fact That's in the right. whole world mm -hmm. we don't have the best government but we tend to look for someone to blame instead of blaming ourselves we mm -hmm. as nigerians we keep blaming the government when Nigerians leave Nigeria to abroad, you see cases that make the media. We're not talking about the good ones that, you know, bringing us to light, representing us, giving us a good name. But there are more bad eggs than there are good eggs. That's and we right. know that the bad eggs are the ones now making the media now seem as if Nigeria is just a scatter, scatter place. It's just a dead zone. It's hmm. a no-go area. Nigeria has scammers. They are this. They are that. They are horrible. They, they've even said travel banning us. They've said enlisting us amongst countries to be traveled by such as america that bad. let's not dive much into hmm. the politics of nigeria it is what it is as you know how it is it's ridiculous i don't know if you're getting it. why do yeah. we nigerians living in nigeria tend to tag most of our brothers and sisters living in diaspora as a liar most people say hey if you're not lying to me now i'm gonna come back home why are you still there and telling me that uh, life is hard that nigeria is better that you're enjoying good food okay first of all um pounds is way more higher than naira so it doesn't like coming to um back home is not easy for an example if you're working uh a, a nine to five job or you're working a 12 and a half hours job and you cannot just pick up your bags and say you want to go back home because first of all there are rules you have to ab abide with at work you have to book your holiday a month before you cannot just come like that and you say because um it's, it's hard here that why don't we just come back home because 
when you go back home you don't know what you will expect you get family members that want this that want that and i i saw on instagram one time i think it's worry picking she said something about um about how you guys back home believe that we are millionaires by being here <laughs> guys oh my god oh my god because you're living a comfortable life that doesn't mean you're you're a millionaire let's just say god is blessing us and we are working forward for god to be able to turn us into millionaires because them, those people that let you know that they are millionaires they are fakers they are fakers that's why you keep disturbing them and they kind of deserve it because they they, they make you assume that you're millionaires and and you guys start having that doubt in your mind start having that thinking in your mind that oh wow this person is living a lavish life this is ridiculous let's just go on with this video they're culturally grounded that we're not vacation security all of this good stuff but then you people are not telling us not to come over you people okay in terms of the education part let's be honest if if you um study here in the uk and you um you have your certificate you have your degree you finish university secondary school primary school blah 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 blah, blah and you travel to any other country and you studied in nigeria you have your university you have everything you have all your degrees or not not even say not nigeria you go to you travel to any other african countries please tell me tell me what qualification would they respect more I'm just trying to say they will respect the UK one more because UK it just have that that have just have that stigma just have that identification in there God save the Queen like God just have that name for itself why Africa countries don't have that name you know you get what I mean ah uh, liars why do we Nigerians just like to trample upon every statement that nigerians in diaspora make one thing is sure behind all those statements made by nigerians in diaspora they don't have it easy they don't like you tell them girl. Rosy, like, you them. tell them that's they tend it to forget that most of these people they actually took their life savings like most of these people saved for sure saved and took all their mm -hmm. life savings and left the country with their families some with their children and even if they get there and they now get used to the system and you're telling them hmm. oh okay come back home or try talking about get... the system one of the reasons why we stay here is because of the system the system is much more easier and straightforward not that it's extremely easier it's much more adaptable than back home system if you get what i mean back home system like all diana said and what i said from the beginning like the government they, they, have, they didn't set up their system straight they don't know their priorities but here they know their priorities they they their system is 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 like organized it's well planned if you get what i mean but let's just get this video cracking me to come dear most of them would tell you that everything that they do they pay for it mm -hmm. you want that comfort you want that luxury you pay for it you of can't course. be sitting down and just be expecting free no. shit no 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 you my work dear. at home Come on, some now. of these people they actually have skills yeah you want to leave nigeria to abroad have you asked yourself the country i'm going to what are the skills required because you can't just wake up and say because i'm a makeup artist in nigeria i can just go to and uh, you can just blow because you were that's right guys do you know how many can i repeat again how many makeup artists in uk do you know how many <laughs> do you know how many business people are in uk Oh my god, do you know? Do you really know? Oh my god, hmm. you will get there and hmm. you have even space to sell corn because they don't sell corn. There. Fact. You won't have any space to even say, okay, let me do usher work and get money. Fact. But you will find usher work. Fact. You know what you'll be? You'll be a gate man. You That's it. security because there is a difference between security and gate man. You're going to go there and you're going to be a gate man. Most of us tend hmm. to forget that most of these people abroad, they're not the wealthiest. Some of them just, they're just happy she being comfortable. It. They're just happy working and paying for what they enjoy 
from the country, what they benefit from the country because they don't find it here in Nigeria. You want to you go see, and I, hammer, live luxury life. People that have watched this video, I didn't remember her saying that part because I mentioned it, didn't I? I did. Yahoo and blow and get a gumbute and say, Oh, you have made it, you have arrived. Most of these people that are living in Nigeria, they're not even thinking about themselves, they're thinking about their children, they're thinking about their future. Some of them don't tell you what they go through the realities of racism and the realities of cultural That's shock, right. how homesick <laughs> they feel most time, or even the cultural detachment they and their children suffer. Some That's of right. them can't. They can't come out and tell you openly this and this and this and this is what we go through. Okay, for an example now, let's say you have a big brother in the United States or you have a, a big brother in England or someone that's close to you in England and they don't have any other family members in England with them and they are working now out day and night in the sun, in the snow, in the rain, in the cold, coming home to only them them and TV, don't you feel like the person who gets mentally even not all right? Because at the end of the day, there's nobody to chat to. They are the only one working out, making sure that they provide for you that you're back home, making sure that they send they send the monthly eating fees for you. And while they're here, they're they're even even more, let's that's what I said. That's why they they kind of discourage you from coming because. They're here, they're kind of, let's be honest, they're kind of depressed, living alone in that, in their own small bubble. Because like I said, the UK is not that kind of place where you could just go outside to your next door neighbor. Hi, let's chill, let's sit outside and drink Coke and Fanta. You can't do that here. You cannot just go and knock on anybody's door and start chilling with them, unless you know them. So things like that needs to be think about, seriously. Because... Obviously, because you can't just come out point blank and say those things to someone that it's is true. Like eager. Oh, I want to. And come they, to they will not still no, even believe you. For Nigerians living abroad are liars. Mm. Why don't you ask them why? Why are you discouraging me from coming? Why are you telling me to please elaborate? Why not you do research? There is Google. Why are you asking somebody that went there? Don't okay. You know, w working in the UK, there are some things that Google will not explain to you. But the thing is that, yeah, if you're going to be in the UK, are you ready? Have you asked yourself, are you ready? Okay, you're saying it rains. Oh, yeah, 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 it rains in Nigeria too. It snows. Okay, it doesn't snow in Nigeria. I get that. Um, It's sunny. Oh, it doesn't, it's, the sun in Nigeria is much more hotter than here. But you don't know the sun here. <laughs> It's not as hotter than there. Okay, facts. Because it's still windy. The snow. The snow here, guys. Is, it, it can get bad sometimes that you feel like staying in your comfort zone. You feel like sleeping in your house. It will not even the snow. In the cold in general. The cold enters your bones. It literally enters your body. Like, there are some people that the cold enters their body that... The fact that they, they, it affects their muscles, they get healed, they, 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 um, they can't walk as they, they can't walk as they used to walk before. Like the cold literally enters their body. If, if even though you, you, you wear the amount of suits, <laughs> you wear the amount of jackets, you wear the amount of jumpers that you can get to cover yourself from this cold, that doesn't stop the cold from entering into your body system. It doesn't and in this kind of weather you still have to work and get your money and you say you want to come here can you handle it hmm. this mentality that, oh my friend went there my family member went there ah, yeah, cuckoo, she's already building houses in my village she's already building houses in the world. do you know the amount of time she has to get out and walk <laughs> do you know the time when she was sick did she tell you the time she was sick did she tell you the time where she asked to be, she was discriminated out there? <laughs> because she's building house, or he or she's building house back home. That doesn't mean that it was easy money. I wish there's a tree where we can start plugging pounds from. I wish there's a tree. <laughs> What estate in Lagos, this, that, that. You don't know what they do to For even sure. get one pound, one dollar, one euro hmm. to build that house. 
you just don't know these are the things that you have to humble yourself to Real. ask do your research Real to deal. know what's up than mm -hmm. just blindly going into things for and sure just feel like for sure people don't want to help i don't really mm -hmm. understand all the time Hi, and then, please, I, want to I want to come <laughs> and what's your response to these people what do you actually tell people the truth or you just mask it with please they okay like i said from the beginning of this video if you want to come you can come come and face it come and encounter it by yourself come and come and experience it that's the word experience it. there's some people they don't learn until they experience so if you come and you experience it by yourself there's some people that they have literally come they've experienced it what do they do from the pack their box they pack their bags they pack their luggage everything they brought with them they went back home because why because they couldn't handle it so if you think you can handle it and you have the strength to handle it okay pack your clothes pack your bag buy your tickets book ahead do whatever you need to do and come come on come you're welcome this is like i said it's a big country it's a big place you have birmingham you have london big place you can come is life hard over there in abroad how do you make life better how do you cope so i don't want to use the word hard because hard means you can let can never really overcome like i always say that's always been my word the word, word i always use is challenging i don't want to use the word hard because when it comes to art, you have it in your mind that you can't overcome. But when you have that, it's challenging. You know you can overcome. So, it is challenging to really work here. It's really challenging to live here. And if, like I've always been saying since this video, if you have a really tough skin, that is how you can you, you can be able to undo yourself here. If you, you have to have to be able to have self control because huh, the amount of temptations that you have to go through. The so Diana already like say, Diana. <laughs> Diana already said everything because like the amount of prosecutions you have to go through and work on the streets. You'll be you'll be like in this modern day there's no discrimination. <laughs> you'll be surprised there's discrimination and there's still racism and everything else. So yeah, like it's 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 just really challenging. It's really really challenging here with all the shock and all the bad bad things that i've mentioned in this video anyway guys let's keep the discussion going in the comment section if you really did enjoy this debate okay sorry guys so to conclude i would encourage everybody who wants to come that back home wants to come to the uk to come come and experience it by yourself and as well as um diana already said everything uk is not a bad place coming to overseas is not bad it's not a bad idea just come come it's a really great place a really great opportunity there are great opportunities there are great privileges you can you can meet great good people you just have to be really careful and yeah that's all about this video please don't forget you know before i even go end of this video diana hey girl big fan from the uk thank you guys for checking out this video and um diana if you come to the uk holla at your girl dm me and let's let's get some video on on the loop you know let's get some video cracking let's let's have some fun together come to london though because your girl is based in london um yeah don't go outside london <laughs> but yeah girl um that's all for this video guys in general so thank you for watching don't forget to like subscribe and share and if you guys are fans of diana equipment send this video to her tag her like what like let her know <laughs> and i made this video i reacted to it like just disturb her because i'm actually a really huge fan of hers like a huge fan um uh, she's, she's 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 got my heart i'm i'm team dynamite forever like wakanda forever dynamite forever but yeah um thanks for checking out this video don't forget to tune in to more of my videos and don't forget to click the bell for you to be able to see my videos whenever i upload and yeah with no further ado i'll catch you guys in my next video bye for now